So as a beginning of our Dharma talk, I will read out a Kongan by Zen Master Pai Chang, Dead Fox. Whenever Zen Master Pai Chang gave a Dharma talk, an old layman would come to listen and would leave with the monks when the talk was finished. One day he remained behind and the master asked him, who are you? I am not a human being, the old man replied. In the distant past, in the time of Mahakashyapa, I was the master of this mountain and made a great mistake. A monk once asked me, is an enlightened person subject to samsara, the wheel of cause and effect? I replied, no, an enlightened person is not subject to cause and effect. Because of this answer, I was reborn a fox for 500 generations. Now, please, master, give me one sentence to liberate me from the fox's body. Is an enlightened person subject to samsara, the wheel of cause and effect? Cause and effect are clear, Pai Chang said. Upon hearing these words, the old man got enlightenment. He bowed deeply and said, I am already liberated from my fox's body, which can be found in a cave on the other side of this mountain. Would you please bury it as you would a dead monk? The master then had the temple director strike the moktak and announced that there would be a funeral for a dead monk after the midday meal. The, monk won the monks wondered aloud, what does this mean? Everyone's healthy and no one is in the hospital. What's going on here? After lunch, Master Pai Chang led them to a cave behind the mountain, poked out the dead fox with his staff and had it ceremonially cremated. In the evening, Pai Chang told the whole story to the assembly. Huang Po immediately asked, this old man made a one word mistake and was reborn a fox for 500 generations. Suppose he had not made a mistake. What would have happened then? Come here and I'll tell you. Huang Po then walked up to Pai Chang and slapped him. The master clapped his hands, laughed and said, I thought that the barbarian had a red beard, but now I see that the barbarian's beard is red. Questions. Not subject to cause and effect, and cause and effect are clear. Are these the same or different? How did the old man become free of the fox's body? What kind of body would the old man have received if he had not made a mistake? Why did Huang Po hit Pai Chang? What is the meaning of now I see that the barbarian's beard is red? Commentary. Three heads and seven legs. Who controls this man? If you have a mouth, you can never control him. If you can find a rabbit's horn, then controlling him is possible. How do I know that I practice in the right way? They you come to interview, and if you solve the Kongan, it's the right way. Don't make anything, okay? Too complicated, cannot progress. Also, don't check your mind. You wanna check your mind? I'm doing the right practice. I'm the good Afik. Not the bad Afik, I'm the good guy. Don't do that. Perceive cause and effect, and then situation, relationship, function, always clear, all right? I have this feeling that the clearer things get, I get more confused. How is that possible? <laughs> the clearer things get, you get more confused. Yeah. So maybe you should do it the other way. Get into a very confusing situation, you become very clear. Would you like that? Soon you're going back to your country. You can test yourself. So here, if this very clear, very simple situation got you confused, then the situation right at Ben Gurion will clear you up so much. I'm gonna be in Berlin before Ben Gurion, so I think it's gonna be even better. Yeah. <laughs>